Look what Capone and I found. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Found him on our walk. He's a mess. And look how skinny he is. And he followed me home. And I swore I wouldn't feed him. But this is the second can. Look at him. <laughs> you should have seen how fast he gobbled up the first can. I can't keep you. Oh my god, look at that face. He's starving. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Come on. I thought if I fed him away from the rig. <laughs> I was hoping when I came out the door with the first plate of food, he would have been wandering around. But no, he's been sticking by my rig ever since we got back. Paul is his new buddy. chicken in it. Who doesn't seem to be doing well with chicken these days. Hey, no. Might as well teach him some manners. He didn't even know how to sit. And I think he's a puppy. I think somebody dropped him off. And this sucks. I don't want another dog. And he's mangy. Watch. Look how hungry he is. Okay, this is actually a little slower. Look at him. Oh my god, that's breaking my heart. That's the second can. Look at how hungry. Look how skinny he is. Oh my God. Can't just leave him out here. It's gonna be freezing tonight. So a ranger drove through and I said, hey, check out this stray dog and what should I do? And he said, oh, whatever you do, don't feed it. And I'm like, yeah, it's kind of late for that. And he's like, whatever you do, don't take it inside. And I'm like, yeah, he's kind of mangy and I don't know what he's got, so I'm not gonna take him inside. And I was like, well, what can I do? And he said, nothing, just leave him alone, ignore him, let him figure it out uh, on his own. And I was like, well, what about the dog pound? And he said, the dog pound is about an hour away and they won't come get him. If you want to take him to the dog pound, you're going to have to take him yourself. And uh, it was freezing outside. The first night, it poured rain all night long and it was like in the high 30s. I could hear him underneath the back of my rig underneath my uh, bed my bed oh my god it was so awful but I didn't know what he had I couldn't bring him in and risk Capone getting sick or anything like that I didn't know uh, you know if he was rabid at that point I just there were too many uncertainties for me to bring him inside so I had no choice but to leave him outside and I figured you know he's been out here on his own surviving for however long one more night's not gonna kill him, or you know, this night's not gonna kill him. So two nights I, I left him outside in almost freezing weather, and uh, then finally on the third night he'd been hanging around, I'd been feeding him. Uh, he didn't really seem that bad. I couldn't give him a bath because it wasn't even 40 degrees outside. Literally, the days, or I think the highest it got was 47 degrees. Plus, I didn't have enough water on board, and the Ohio River would have been way too cold for me to try to give him a bath. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, what a conundrum. <laughs> what was I gonna do? I gotta look at that face. Oh, now you know how to sit. Did I just teach you that? Because you didn't do that for me earlier before I had food. Sit. Sit. 
Now he doesn't know sit. But watch. Sit. Nope, but watch. Sit. Sit. Down. Down. No. He's too excited. Oh my god, look at this. What do, no. All I need is a big rambunctious puppy. And you're a mess. You can't come inside. You're a mess. I guess I could call the dog pound. Is that what I should do? Call the dog pound? Oh. Yeah, maybe I should call the dog pound. Oh my God, you're so cute. So I ended up reaching out to some friends and sent some little video clips and some pictures and it was like, oh my God, look at this dog. What do I do? I had no, I was like, I don't know what to do. At that point, even bringing him inside to take him to the, to the pound just seemed really risky. Um, I think that was like the first day and I was reaching out to people and I'm like, what do I do? And, uh, Lo and behold, a couple hours later, I got a text from my uh, friends, Badge and Elle, who were on their way from Canada down to the desert, and they we had planned on meeting up anyway to travel part way together, and they were like, we want them, we'll take them. They've been looking for a dog that looks like this anyway, and so here's what happened next. Are you a giant? You're a giant. You're a giant dog. This is Elle and Elle and Badge, my friends. And look who, and they are the new proud parents of Dudley. Dudley. We named, they named him Dudley. With, I thought Indy for Indiana, but that didn't fit. And they saw him and they named him Dudley. So he has a home and now he's getting a bath. <laughs> he's been living with me for three days. I've been feeding him. He even slept inside the last couple of nights. Hey, Dudley. Hey, say hi. You gonna get a bath? Hey. Come here, Dudley. So Badge and Elle have a big trailer with hot water. So they can give him a bath. Come on. Come on, you're gonna get a bath. <laughs> <There we go>. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All poor. Okay. It's okay, buddy. It, Dudley, it's okay. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, he's a lot of dog. <laughs> Oh, it's okay, buddy. Oh, you're gonna hey, be now so pretty. He's yeah, now he's oh, yeah, he's just it's warm, so. yeah, he's just skin and bones. Is all he is. Yeah, and this is after good. eating very well. I've been feeding him like five he's times good. a day. Really? Uh huh. So. There it is. Got it. Oh, you're doing great, Dudley. Got it, got it. You're doing great. Oh, it's okay. Oh, look how skinny he is. Okay, that's good. Oh. That's good. Oh, poor baby. Hold You're good. You're good. Wait, let me get that oh, shot. Yeah. So <laughs> that's, that's a hell of a huh? shot. Oh, so <laughs> nice butt shot. <laughs> oh, Dudley, you're adorable. I know I need it, but I really don't okay, like so it. They're all cleaned up and ready to go. Come here, look. Oh, you're, no, no jumping, Down. no jumping. Look at Down. how pretty you are. Look at you. <laughs> Dudley, let me see, let me see. Oh, look. That wasn't so bad, was it?